Okay, so this is a video on the spark plugs and spark plug locations on the Volkswagen 2.0 engine, 2. Point slow engine, um, shown as a 2005 Mark IV Jetta GLS. Um, first things first, take out your oil dip stick. I already got that out. Take off this bolt that I sheared off. Then, plastic cover pops off. four spark plugs on this vehicle. There's one here, one there, one here, and one here. Now one, two, and three, these three can very easily be done, you know, just with a normal rent or ratchet and a uh, 10 millimeter, I think, socket for spark plugs. But this one you're going to need a swivel adapter, I still have not changed that one out. It's common to take off the manifold, but uh, I don't want to do that. Um, now, the question is, what spark plug should I use? Now, the Bosch ones that these ship with, I think they're Super Plus Bosch. Got one, got one of them I took out right here. These are discontinued, so you can't get these anymore. Look how old that is, it's a piece of crap. Now I have these NGK plugs. They were about $10 for a two pack at Canadian Tire. ZFR 5 EGP NGK plugs. Now I think the, the gap on these is one millimeter tolerance on the 2 point slow Jetta engine is 0.9 millimeters to 1.1 millimeters. I think the spacing on this is slightly different, but these fit in. Um, they're platinum plugs, just like the old ones. So you're not making a jump that's gonna make your engine all screwy. Um, and they're definitely um, a great thing to change out, especially if your car's been running for 10 years and you still have your old Bosch Super Plus should make it run better maybe if you have a misfire it'll fix that now the one thing to know with these NGK plugs is they're self lubricating so you don't want any anti-seize I mean you can put anti-seize but you don't need to and I wouldn't um, but yeah that's a little video on your spark plug locations and types on your uh, Jetta GLS 2.0 now the last thing to remember is there's a special spark plug removal tool for um, the Volkswagen engines for the wires. Um, now I did not use that, I'm cheap. I used a pair of ice grips and it worked just fine, but uh, it would make your day a hell of a lot easier and less of a pain in the ass to change out those plugs if you use that tool. And again, get a swivel kind of attachment for your ratchet because there's no way you're getting in there without taking off the manifold, and uh, in my opinion, that's way too much work for changing out your spark plugs. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.